Captain Greg here with Learn to Fish with us. Here we have another segment for our ice fishing videos. And what we're going to cover today is different types of tip ups, how to use a tip up, what to do with a tip up once you have a fish on, and some of the accessories that I use when I'm ice fishing. So, first of all, we have our traditional uh, tip up uh, for one. Uh, as you can see, I got my name and my phone number again on my tip ups. Never know when you're going to be out there fishing and you have a few tip ups set up and you forget to get one, uh, bring one in. So first of all, this is a traditional one. Um, so uh, basically just gets set up here. A uh, couple other things about this tip up is I also have put some um, tape on here. And what that does is it really helps hold the hook in place so that it isn't uh, moving around. Uh, so this is a traditional tip up. Get set up like this. Uh, this goes down into the hole. The spool stays um, within the hole. Uh, so traditional tip up. Uh, this is a thermal tip up. So. I really like to use these tip ups when it's really cold because what it's going to do is it's going to protect the hole. It's all insulated and you don't have to worry about the hole freezing up as quick. And then finally, we have a wind tip up. Uh, what this does is it just sets up. This goes right to the hole. And then as the wind's blowing on this, um, on this apparatus, it's actually going to be going up and down. And what it does is it's great for jigging baits, uh, keeping baits moving around. So, a little information. When you actually go out, when you actually go out and buy a tip up, the spool is going to be empty. Um, what you're going to have to do is actually spool it up. And what I recommend is using ice line. Uh, basically, most of my tip ups are set up with about 30 pound test. Um, or you can use fire line. And then what you would do is uh, you connect it up to a barrel swivel. And then from there, you'll have a leader. That leader can be fire line. Um, so if I'm fishing northerns, I'm most likely fire line. If I'm fishing bass, walleye, panfish, it's going to be a fluorocarbon leader. Um, and then you just have split shot and hook. And just remember um, that you want to go... You want to go in a clockwise motion of having the line when it goes out. So that's very important when you're spooling it up. Um, let's talk a little bit about what happens when a fish hits. So what you're going to do is this is going to be set up in the water. Um, so for setup, I, if I'm fishing close to the bottom, I'd use a weight. I'd attach this and then what I would do is bring this up a foot off the bottom. Uh, most of the time when I'm actually setting up tip ups, I will actually use a sonar to actually show me where in the water column my bait is. Because if the fish are at about 10 feet of water, I'm going to be potentially fishing at 8 feet. Um, if, if I'm fishing 3, 4 feet of water, believe it or not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably have the tip up set up just like this because I want that bait right below the ice. So what I would do is put my bait on, set it out to the desired depth, and then all you have to do is put the flag on. For one, there's a crease right on this, on this piece of metal. And that crease, if I'm using big bait or if I'm using lively bait, I will definitely put it in the crease. If I'm fishing for perch or light biters, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure to set it just outside of that channel. So that way, if they just move it a little bit, it goes. So what's going to happen is we'll go through this quick. So a fish is going to hit this, flag is going to go up. And then what it's going to do is this is just going to start spinning. What all you will do is wait till this stops spinning. Once it stops spinning, I'll pull it up. I'll grab the line here. I'll pull it up. Set the tip up away from the hole. 
And then what I'll do is I'll slowly pull it in till I feel weight. Once I feel weight, I'll give it a quick hook and then I will let the fish dictate. If it's coming towards me, I'll pour it, bring it in. If it runs, I'm gonna let it slide the line through my fingers and we're just gonna play it out. Make sure when you're playing it out though that you keep this ice in an organized, I mean you keep this line in an organized fashion around the hole so it can go in, but also so it doesn't become a mess and get all twisted and tangled. Um, and then basically we'll just flip the fish on the ice. So let, let's talk a little bit, once you're done for the day, most of them have this uh, have this spool here. So what you can do is reel this in. And then what you'll do is twist it. Spool should go into the hole. I'll take this hook. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put this hook into the tape. That way I don't have to worry about it uh, coming free. Then what you'll do is just twist it tight. And then what you'll actually do is you put the flag, the spool has some holes, you'll actually put the flag right in there. And that's how it really compresses really nicely. So that's how to utilize a tip-up. Some other things that I like to use when I'm fishing with tip-ups is if I'm using a traditional and it is very cold out or the water is very clear and shallow, I like to use a tip-up cover. And all this does is... It's got a little separation in there and what you want to do is make sure you just insert the shaft of the tip up into there and then all you would do is when you get a tip up is you would actually pull the cover up with the tip up and then grab the line um, once i get my tip up set to desired depth i like to use markers so what i'll do is have a mini bobber or I'll actually have a split shot. Um, I use a depth weight to help get my bait down if I'm fishing close to bottom and then raise it up. Once the line goes slack, you know you're on bottom, raise it up a foot or two. Another thing I like to do is some of these tip ups, when they're um, down below, you know, by the snow and everything, you can't sometimes see them. So what I like to do is I got small cones that are about this big. They're orange. And what I like to do is mark all my tip-ups with those orange cones. There's also tip-up lights on the market, you know, that either bleed, you know, either flicker or turn on or beep when the tip-up goes up. So what it'll do is you'll place it on the tip-up. And what happens is as the tip-up goes up, that's what actually triggers these lights to go off. So very good if you're fishing the evening. Some other tips are, let's say it's really a heavy wind blowing and the wind's blowing this way. So what I really like to do is set up my tip-up that way. If I set it this way, there's a good chance that that wind will grab this flag and it'll actually false pop it up. Uh, like I said, if I'm fishing really shallow, I like to have the bait just below the ice. And one other thing is, when using tip-ups, make sure that you're keeping the ice free. You know, that it's water around these tip-up holes. So what I definitely recommend is at least, you know, based on the weather, if it's really cold, at least every 15, 20 minutes, go around using your ice scoop to help clear the hole so that it's free. Because if the ice is frozen where the tip up is, fish will hit it, it'll feel the pressure of the ice and it'll drop the bait. So these, this seminar was to talk about the different tip ups. If you have any comments or questions, please message me at learn number two, fish with us. And if you like this video or would like other ice fishing videos, please make sure to follow us at Learn to Fish with us. Thank you.